Let me show you guys how to set up a Texas rig. So I've got my fishing line, I've got my bullet sinker, I've got my worm hook here, and I've got a soft plastic worm around here somewhere. So I'm going to grab this bullet sinker, and I'm going to put this fishing line, I'm going to take this fishing line and I'm going to run the line into the hole of this sinker. And you've got your sinker weight. I'm just going to drop that down the line there. And then just real easy, I'm going to tie a Palmer knot to tie this hook to the line. If you don't know how to tie a Palomar knot, I'm not going to teach you in this video, but I do have a video on my website and on YouTube right here if you click on it, where you can actually learn how to tie a Palomar knot. So I'm going to tie my knot just like that. Got an extra piece of line here, this tag end line. I'm going to cut that with my pliers. And then I'm almost done here. All right. Let me grab my soft plastic worm. Just using like a seven and a half inch curly tail worm for this video. So I've got my sinker weight here. All right, my bullet weight, slip sinker weight. I've got my fishing hook here. And then my soft plastic worm. So let me show you how to do this. All right. So you've got your worm with your hook here. I'm going to take the point of the hook. And if for this worm it's a two-sided colored worm, to get your baits to actually sit up the right way on these hooks, whatever you think the bottom of the worm is, or the, the bait is, when you have your hook set up in this way like I have it, I take the bottom of the worm and I face it in towards this part of the hook. So it could be the bottom of the swim bait, whatever the bottom is. All right, then I run the point of the hook into this bait maybe about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And then I have the point of the hook come out of the bait just like that. And then I push this bait up onto the hook. And I'm, gonna get, then I'm gonna get to this part, I flip it over here. And then I run it up over this curved part of the hook here. And then it's gonna sit just like that. Let me get you a better look here. All right, so now I haven't actually hooked this point of the hook back into the worm yet, but I'm pretty close to being done here. So I've got the worm sitting like that. The, the head of this worm is going to run up onto this line a little bit. Now I'm going to pull my worm straight. This is going to help me figure out where I need to put the point of the hook into the worm. All right, with the worm straightened out, you're going to see where this part, this edge of the, you know, the curved part of the hook meets up with the worm. Where they meet up, about right here, that's the part of the worm that the point of the hook needs to go up into. Okay? So the hook goes straight up into this worm, and then I'm going to pull the worm like that as the hook goes through. And you can see my worm sitting really nice on this hook here. All right. Now if I push this piece of plastic down, you can see that there's a little bit of space from the point of the hook and the worm. So this worm isn't rigged weedless yet. I'm going to take this piece of the worm, push it up over the point of that hook. They call that skin hook in a worm. And then I've got my slip sinker right here, my weight. And this is the Texas rig, guys. One of the most popular ways to rig soft plastic baits.